Thank you. Um, so I'll to thank organizers for giving me opportunity to speak here. And uh, so this is maybe the second uh, in Indochina number theory conference. And I was in Beijing for the first one two years ago. And um, so actually afterwards, I went to Beijing several times. And the talk is kind of based on some work that uh, so something happened, partly. Joined with uh, Hida and uh, Yetian. Well, um, start with a maybe some vague uh, introduction and state uh, main results. Um, Notion we'll see and um, dependent on the time, um, just give some sketch. <laughs> yes, so um. Something maybe which has been seen a number of times in this workshop and conference. We start with some number field and let's take an elliptic curve. So we have some um, maybe basic arithmetic invariants, and so maybe the key ones are the torsion, so key and maybe the simplest, the torsion. Uh, the model way rank, and uh, sort of the quite mysterious state chefre which group, so we know that these are finite, and this is conjecture to be finite. other side we have the uh, L function. I'm going to recall the def definition and, um, and BST predicts a relation be between this LSEF and the arithmetic invariants. Okay. So this is maybe a fixed situation where uh, fixing elliptic curve and fixing number field and there are a number of ways we can introduce variables. So Variable. So, for example, we can just pick an extension of f okay. and um, so maybe we can try to see what is the, try to understand how these invariants vary as uh, we replace f with l in, in some way. Maybe one would, um, so picking a random family, one may not be able to have some control, but uh, ideally one would like to choose certain families where the, I mean, there is a somewhat systematic behavior of the invariants. So the typical um, sort of um, these extensions one looks at is the Iwasawa, it's a case of Iwasawa extensions. So just. Okay. 
Okay, so again, I'm not going to say much, but just notation. So, so for example, we, so, 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 sorry, uh, let's say that P is some uh, good ordinary prime, like just, okay, and we um, pick F infinity over F some uh, ZP extension. Says as usual, we have this. Uh, okay. And um, so, since this uh, U.S. our theory of elliptic curve or such extensions, we expect, um, or maybe we also. Know in uh, several cases that um, so arith so we have this nth layer and we try to see the in I mean for example these behavior the torsion model we rank or the shy if we know shy is finite we can try to see. Okay, so arithmetic of E over Fn, and so somehow maybe for small n's, this is uh, kind of maybe hard to understand, but so asymptotically, so as n tends to be. So the asymptoticness is coming from looking at the higher um, layers in the tower, so this is, and you can say this is maybe like a vert vertical variation. Just fixing some number field and okay. Okay, and uh, as we know, uh, like this is kind of the Ibasa algebra plays a key role in such uh, so. I mean, so after all, I mean, Ibasa algebra maybe gives some understanding in terms of certain invariants. So, so the, so some lambda and mu invariants. Okay, so now let's, uh, so just try to raise the question in some other set of, so instead of going up, there's some, Just, so for example, let's start with an elliptic curve. We pick an imaginary quadratic extension. So typically, I mean, the theory of Higner points or um, periods, I mean, such, I mean, one is led to look at such arithmetic or such base. And so we can also just say we take the Hilbert class field of K. So, so of course we have this usual, um, it's nothing but the class group. And uh, as discriminant, so this is again a fixed situation. So we can, okay, so, so we can have this E over HK, larger field. And um, so there is no asymptotic till now, like it's a fixed situation, but we can now vary K. Okay, okay. so as so we know at least that this CLK Uh, and this is usually just following from the follows from Brower Seagull bond. Okay, so at least we are looking at um, 
sort of larger extensions larger just in the sense um, yeah, the degree is larger okay so we can ask like how about the like these invariants can say something in this asymptotic um, Just maybe a very vague question. And so this is not the first time such question is raised, but in analytic uh, number theory, such setup is has been considered on number of occasions. So let me um, maybe recall some results first, just to. Okay. So. Um, so we have the L function of uh, elliptic curve over the Hilbert class field. And it just breaks down. Um, so CLK over K in the Galois group, uh, sorry, HK over K, the Galois group is CLK. And the character, so, so the L function breaks down in this way, so this is the character group, sorry, this is that. This is the rankin selberg uh, convolution, so this. Yes, so. So, so, but, but this is the, uh, I mean, this is the rankin silver convolution, so E over K, and, um, yeah, yeah, so, sorry, I, see, I should put it in the notation, yes. Okay, let me maybe, so, so it's EK with the theta series associated to chi. Okay. Okay, um, and so in um, analytic uh, sort of uh, number theory, this question about what is the, uh, the order of vanishing of this L function, so the central order of vanishing has been considered. And as we know, I mean, at least it is controlled by the root numbers. So. Uh, so, so, so let's say, um, um, so maybe um, this, so first let's say this is sine, um, root number, global root number. We are in the self-dual situation because uh, this, uh, <laughs> this is a, um, Anticyclotomic character, and uh, okay, so, so this sort of peak um, k such that uh, sorry, this is k over q imaginary quadratic uh, as we have been looking at, and the so the sine is plus minus one. So at least when the sign is plus one, the central L value does not vanish for trivial reasons. And um, so here is a. Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah, always minus. Uh, not take 
here you are not taking the mixed case. Yeah. I mean, basically, if the ramification, if the conductor, of, sorry, discriminant of K is co prime to the conductor of E, then it is fixed. For, for, one, for one character, the sign is plus one, and for all, it is plus one. For this common ramification to be slightly careful. So this is maybe about uh, 10 years ago. Mitchell Venkatesh. So we uh, try to count. So let's. We can uh, pick some k in theta plus and count how many uh, characters are there such that the central L value does not vanish. So, okay, so we just count. They can show that there is a bound in terms of this uh, discriminant. Okay, so. Okay, so for um, many uh, such twists, the uh, yeah. Um, yes, I think this some com I think some constant comes from subconvexity bounds. I, I I don't know if it, uh, I mean uh, I'm done. Yeah. <coughs> and so there is, this is the sign a plus one case and uh, so a similar result was proven in the sign minus one case. later so there exist in so this same thing the central derivative So on the analytic side, um, there um, there's results. And so I'll just make a uh, again vague remark on. Uh, so maybe I'm writing small this deriv derivative. Yeah. That's okay. So so. So just um, some words about what shows up in, in this. Um, okay, so, so there are some formulas um, regarding these L values or derivatives to modular forms. So, so words per se. Um, Starting point, and then um, there's a key uh, input from subconvex point. And, um, Uh, 
Um, so, so maybe I mean I'll not say much about this and can uh, now go back to the question um, about this variation of the invariants. Okay, so. No, I mean, Krozagi is for this one. No. No, the, the, like actual formula of Waltzberg. So, so what? Yeah, um, yeah, yes, like so. So this is, um, I mean, this is a period of a modular form on a definite quaternion algebra. And so, so it's period square. Okay. Okay. Can. So for a, I mean, this precise recipe for choosing a definite quaternion algebra, and then Jackie Langland's transform of a modular form associated to it, such that this, and this period, so for PF chi. Values of the modular form at special points, and, and Grosagi is usually for this one. No, no, like there is a general version for any, such characters is okay. Yeah, like um, yeah, ori original was for quadratic characters, but afterwards, like the shows, shows, and others, like now it's in. I mean, is there in as any basically any self dual situation sine minus one case we have uh, um, yes yeah, so uh, sorry I mean so the approach is we try to look at the summation of these various twists like and so sub convexity bound will provide a, a lower bound on the sum. Because but then to actually say something is non-zero, we have to show an upper bound. So, um, so it's, and the upper bound is provided uh, using Waltz-Perge formula and some equidistribution results. So it's, Okay, um, so let's, uh, so we have this, um, I mean, one can ask question about other things, but at least here we have this three invariants. Um, okay, and maybe we, um, like to see if something can be said about this as k varies. Okay. So, 
for the torsion, I mean, maybe it's pro it's probably known to um, others. I mean, it's, um, it's just some something based on the Galois image results. One can show that. Um, so that's so there's no conditions. So just E over Q, some elliptic curve. Then the torsion is finite. So as we also. Look at all, uh, in fact, look at the union over all imaginary quarter key extensions and consider torsion over the Hilbert class field. So, this is, uh, I'm quite, um, it's, um, But uh, I mean, here K is changing. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, you mean uh, uh, the? Yeah. So, so if the degree is fixed, then yeah, because of this height, one can yeah, yes, one can say. But he, yeah. But it's like using the Galois image results. It's uh, yeah. It's not. I mean, it's so. This over Q ab E Q ab is finite. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry. E, yeah. E Q ab torsion is finite. Um, and yeah. So this is yeah. Maybe like it. Like it's, it's not literally the same as Ribet thing, but the argument is maybe very same. Yeah. So so this is. That just like previous arguments give this. So, so that's, yeah, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, and then, um, okay. so for the um, rank part in the, um, so, so that's, um, okay. So just a little bit different. Um, so we can allow the mix case as you, you, you had asked. So this is uh, K over Q. Sorry, minus one. So, so, so there is one character for which the list, um, okay. and then the conclusion is so then so the rank increases. Yeah, 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 yeah. One can because it's uh, just like sort of local. These are local conditions and just some splitting. One, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Half. Uh, um, maybe. Um, maybe I'm. I'm not. Maybe. Yeah, yes. Uh, So, so this, so, so this is not a quantitative version. Like so, okay. 
so um so the growth is So unlike the unlike this Mitchell Venkatesan temple as result, uh, they can actually say uh, some somehow specify a growth, but the approach here uh, is not um, okay. But the, so, so, so maybe the approach is, is geometric and. So it does not use any sub convex bounds and also it's in, in the, based on um, so, so just basic things about Hickner points so and, and the key role is uh, so, so maybe the ma main ingredient is some um, Andre Wood conjecture for cell products of Shimura curves. This is now known unconditionally, so. So some of the, the maybe some geometric method can say that uh, the rank is growing, but does not seem to be quite enough to say, how, to specify the amount. So about Shah, um, can say something, but need to introduce some notation to state the result. So it's, it's usual we fix some algebraic closure of Q and some embeddings. Um, and so that's just to set up the notation, let's say this characters okay. in Q bar, um, and whenever we have a character, we just, Zika is um, generated by the image. This gothic p uh, above p uh, again q chi q chi and, and determine via the embeddings. So just another uh, usual notation is, so if we have some, okay, here let's just say some CLK module, then uh, this M chi, um, just, So just extend it until it is defined. Okay, so, so this is just notation. And now, um, so we are maybe considering Sha over HK. There is action of the class group, so the Galois module. Okay, 
again. So just uh, restate the question. So, um, this is the component, and, <coughs> and I'm not aware of any conjectures about this. So, um, um, so because um, I mean, it's H H K or. Don't know if um, there is some. Uh, yeah. So about this, or I mean, I should have said before. So about this, uh, L functions, the central L value being zero or the derivative being zero, this is a version of Goldfeld conjecture in this setup. But I mean, it has this analytic flavor. But whereas for something like Sha, maybe. Uh, Um, so, so here is a uh, what can uh, prove uh, so, so some something is uh, so now uh, some assumptions. So E over Q is elliptic curve, and uh, so say it's a semi-stable. Conductor n, so this is square free. Um, okay, and, uh, and so suppose this uh, we pick some prime. So there is this is about p part of the shard. This is uh, okay. so or more strictly speaking, like this uh, particular track p part. Okay, so. Um, Okay, so, so, so some prime, and it it is away from uh, the con so okay, so it does not divide the conductor, and a uh, certain okay, certain other prime. So L okay. so L square minus one for prime dividing the conductor, and C L so C L um, tamagawa number at L. Okay, so that's uh, so, so. yeah, 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 yes, yeah, the usual, uh, yes. <coughs> Okay, so um, so we again do the count like the previous things we counted for how many things the central L value or the derivative was non-zero. We can now count for this, and the result is for certain imaginary quadratic extensions. So then, um, so this may be um, a quite weak lower bound, but okay. So far. So then, so we have this count. So chi component as before, but now um, this frac p part is so tensoring with z chi. So this frac, and this is trivial. So okay, so then this is. Um, So there are several such characters, but uh, it's very um, yeah, weak. Um, so 
and then dk to the so basically ln and dk and uh, so here k runs over a certain imaginary quadratic extension so not quite also for k over q First um, condition is a p does not divide the class number of k, and the the, the other um, conditions is either p splits in k or the root number is plus one for for some. Uh, Um, yeah, as we so we pick an imaginary quadratic field satisfying this and do the do the count um, yeah yes yes so yeah yeah it comes from um, um, yeah maybe I'll say a little bit more later it's from this uh, Euler system trying to bound uh, yes yes yeah so um, so let me um, so at least I mean this uh, so it's of course I think it's not optimal uh, but maybe it suggests something like this um, question can one yeah it might be interesting to pursue the question and. Yeah, but oh, you mean other cases? What happens? Yeah, like uh, yes, um, um. I'm, I'm not, you, you mean which hypothesis there is, so there is, uh, uh, suppose it is not there. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, it, it looks like a, yeah, it looks like a reasonable thing to expect, but I don't have some, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe I'll say a little bit more later. Yeah. Um, so, um, so one might be able to say some sort of like weak, um, so, so maybe then to, one may not be able to, at least the method does not allow to say that something about Sha being trivial, but one can say something like Sha being bounded, so fixed power of P, and, uh, but may have not actually work, worked out the steps, one needs to do more if there is a higher divisibility. I, I, um, um, yeah, maybe, yeah. So, so maybe first, um, so first remark, just that there are infinitely many imaginary quadratic fields satisfying this uh, assumption. I mean, it may look slightly, yeah. So there is a Brunian slightly uh, recently re refined by Weiss, so there exists. Um, 
and um, and so this semi stable is not really i mean one has some version so just say something so uh, some just say oh i uh, sorry i forgot to say here also there is a non cm assumption Yeah, I'll say it now. So, uh, so, so E over Q non CM and so not necessarily semi stable. Um, so then one can. Outside some finite set of primes, the same conclusion holds. So uh, there is some set only dependent on E. So, so just E not in sigma E and epsilon, this is the same. So, so just that in the same stable case, one can uh, make this set explicit and just uh, away from this. Uh, yeah, otherwise, yeah. Thanks. Okay, so maybe maybe because of time, let me um, so so let me make some remark first, and then try to say some uh, we can, some some sketch. There is a, um, I mean, in this setup, like this chi equivariant setup, there is also BST. I mean, uh, and so, so this is the sha on the uh, the arithmetic side, and we have the BST formula predicting its size. So. something like this L. Uh, don't we want to write down the formula but let's say this is analytic sha um, so that is the the order predicted by BST We can um, ask the same question for this number. I mean, um, so, uh, so, so. Uh, so in in particular the so 
this specific part of um, so I was going to say more about this um, here but um, yeah that's because of time uh, Um, so, <coughs> so we have this k over q, and let's divide the characters into this x k plus minus so kind. So the method uh, for for Sha, so maybe I'll only sketch so far. Okay, so there is a I mean earlier work of Bertolini Damon and Kolivagin uh, saying uh, under certain conditions we have the Sha is a finite. And so we try to maybe analyze further to see what one needs to show to get actually p reality of, of Sha. So, so just okay. no, actually, um, um, no. Like here, it's more about um, in the end uh, showing some periods are non-zero mod p. Like this p f chi we don't need to show such uh, twists are non-zero mod p for many characters chi. So, or maybe you can. Yeah, yes. <coughs> okay. So, and so so this depends on the which case we are whether the sign is plus one or min minus one. So so let's just start with the plus one case. So there is a recipe I not recall. So we so associated to E and chi, we can construct some definite quaternion algebra. So it's some well chosen, and in particular, if this pi corresponds to our original, I mean, automorphic representation coming from E, then there is a Jackel Langlands transform. Okay, um, and so, so this is a way to, um, so we get actual function, so we choose uh, so something here, so F in pi B. Um, okay. so, so, so some modular form you can say definitely some property with respect to action of the character. Okay. Um, and this, P, so we have a map from this uh, because of the way quaternion algebra is chosen. There is a map from. CLK to B, um, and um, okay, so 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 there is also some level. So this uh, form is of some some level, and let's say that X B is uh, the definite Shimura set. Just some finite set, and um, so because of uh, this, uh, sorry. So so we have this. I mean, here it is an embedding, and so associated to an ideal class A in CLK, 
we have some some element of this finite set. Gross, yeah, gross point or okay, and so we can form the period now, which written before. But so, so this is P F chi is a basically values of our, our form at C M points, twisted values. So chi inverse A um, F of X A is A running over the And so then the okay, so this is a Bertolini um, Daman, uh, this is a, an Euler system of toric periods. Such, So, so as long as this um, period is non-zero, then the sha is finite. Okay, and um, on the other hand, uh, we have waltz perge uh, formula. Okay, so, so the waltz perge formula, uh, there are, so, so first, so this period is non-zero if and only if the central L value is non-zero. So, and one can um, now look at P parts and So here, um, sigma chi is such that the size So this is a, a finite set, and uh, this f is a function. So if, if you like, it's a um, so, so let's just say this, and. Um, <coughs> So, this, so the period is some algebraic number and the p divisibility of that number controls the size of uh, sha, uh, uh, p part of sha. So for so here it's away from some. Uh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yes, I mean this is, so So this is basically like Nekovar later on wrote a paper paper analyzing the method and yeah, this is just just part of that yeah yes uh, yeah so so I'm, uh, so far i've just recalled the earlier yes um okay and and there is a similar thing for so so maybe let let me not so so so, so this p part
Okay, so there are these two sets, um, and away from it, they control each other, and one can so yeah, just look at their like Nikos article and see that this sigma chi and uh, okay, so this is um, so so this horizontal variation one can try to look at this inside their method and actually one sees uh, that it's, it is bounded. So, so basically the question, I mean the upshot of this is like the analysis boils down to, so, so it does suffices to How often are these periods p unit in the specific? Um, okay, and um, so this is um, so. Let me just um, say that this is. Um, <coughs> okay, so this is based on um, okay, so um. Redistribution result of Mitchell. Um, so, so let me just uh, sketch why. So the statement was about that there are many such character twists um, with the the period being p unit. So let's just sketch for this one why there is at least one twist, and I'll stop. Um, okay. One twist for a large discriminant. So, okay. So suppose, um, so so we, one can firstly normalize things and suppose that f is a sort of p optimal. So, so f p of so, so that's just uh, I mean f is non-zero mod p. Um, and so we can so f is f is a function on so f is a function on CLK. It's it's a function on XB, but we can CLK maps to XB. So f okay. So f um, yeah. I don't know. Maybe, maybe let's yeah. Let's okay. So and so p f chi is uh, just the Fourier coefficient. So this is the kite. Coefficient of this function. So, and so suppose all of the things are, are divisible by p. So suppose p f chi um, not p unit for all. Kind C L K hat um, and. So then, then just by uh, Fourier inversion, because we are supposing p does not divide the size of the group, so then we get that so f uh, is congruent to zero mod p on CLK. So just as a function of this particular part is um, divisible by p, but. Um, 
But on the other hand, to begin with, we are supposing it is non-zero mod p, but this is as a function on the entire Shimura set. So f non-zero mod p uh, as a function on xp. So, so it's a finite set, and this is some CLK gives some points on the finite set. So now this uh, Mitchell um, says that his result, um, so for dk large enough uh, CLK surjects onto Okay, I'll st um, okay, so I'll stop here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, no, I mean, I just, uh, so just maybe one line and, yeah. Um, so, 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 as, so originally as a function on xb is non-zero mod p, and now here we get that it is a zero on clk, but on the other hand, the clk covers xb due to this equidistribution result, and so we get a contrast. Okay, so, and, and for many twists, it's, one needs some versions of this equidistribution result. Oh, okay, let's stop. So his things are different, like so he, somehow he analyzes the structure of the Shah in a family and um, so that's maybe it has more sort of flavor that if one has a good control on the structure in a family then one can go from one member to other. But whereas here one, maybe like because there is no Iwasawa algebra or something like that here, so one, so one really needs to show that, actually show some. Uh, no, I mean it's a different, uh, uh, like it's a different uh, sort of I I idea. So so in, in that case, you need to analyze uh, Higner Higner points on Shimura curves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 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 somehow like try to say that they are linearly independent based on some Zariski density of CM points on cell products of Shimura curves. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, so, so there somehow. So here, the key role is maybe this uh, equidistribution, but there it's it's this Andre Andrewood. 